Welcome back everyone to another Tickets video. I was gone for a couple of weeks, I'm sorry about that, but now I'm back with the daily uploads. So, without further ado, let's get straight into it. This video has also been sponsored by Salad, but more on that later in the video. Okay, here I am in my Visual Studio Code, and today we're going to be creating a transcript button. So, basically what we're going to do is this going to end, this is not going to end our series, but it's going to end all of the Tickets part. This is gonna basically complete everything. And essentially what it is is when you close when you click the close ticket button, it's gonna send us a transcript. So what we wanna do is first we wanna create or we actually wanna grab all the messages from that channel so we can send it. So the way I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna create a messages variable called messages. It's gonna be equal to await or interaction dot channel dot history. And then after that what I can do is we can do limit equals none so it may depending on how many messages there might be it may take some time for this to process through because it has to grab every single one but after it does that we're going to do oldest equal underscore first equals true so it grabs it in chronological order and then or not chronological but by whichever one was sent first and then what we're going to do is we're going to fly in and create it into an actual list. Now that we have that, we're gonna do contents equals, and over here we're gonna do a little, really small for loop, and this is just to make our code look a lot simpler. But first, a small word from our sponsor. If you want Nitro, then listen up. Salad.io is a free and completely legal way to get Nitro for literally free. Heck, it's even partnered with Discord. All you have to do is whenever you're AFK, Salad will use your computer's power that's not being used right now, and it will use it to crypto mine, which then in return can get you money that you can use in Nitro. Now, many people say crypto mining can be harmful, but as long as you make sure that your computer is in a proper place, place and is decently clean you should be fine so click the link down below in the description and use code glowstick to get a two times earning bonus up to your first four dollars anyways back to the video and thanks to Sal for sponsoring this video there was a nitro classic code hidden in that message if you didn't catch it you might want to watch again message uh, content for message in messages This is going to for loop through every single message inside messages and it's going to grab the message.content from each one and store it inside the contents array. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create another variable called final. It's going to be an empty string. You'll see what we do with this after. And then we can do for msg and contents. Over here what we're going to do is we're going to do msg equals msg plus and we're going to add a little and then this is the new line segment this right here it means a new line and so we're going to end that add that to the end of message so whichever one and then we're going to do final equals final plus msg you see why we do need this afterwards and so after that's done we're going to create a transcript.txt a text file that we're going to send to the user with all the messages in it so we're going to do with open and do transcript dot txt now the reason that we're doing this is the reason that we're doing open is because say there isn't a transcript dot txt file then it's just going to create one and then afterwards we can delete it so every time it creates a new one as f and then we can do f dot right you can call this as file as well f dot right final and the final contains all the transcripts properly parsed and in the proper order, so it's easily readable. And then now that we have that, what we can do is over here, we can, when it says oh, interaction.user.send, we can actually send them the transcript. So file equals maxcore.file. And then over here, we're gonna pass in transcript txt so we're going to send them transcript.txt and then we're going to remove that file so we're going to do os star remove transcript.txt and forgot but you have to put this in the string so quotation marks and that's basically it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to run this here and we're going to pop into discord 
So here I am in my Discord, and you can see this is already red, okay, from like a previous date. And so uh, we're just gonna keep it because we have it, so it will it has persistent views. So even if we restart the bot, it's all the way from like almost a month ago. We can click create ticket, and it'll still create it. So my ticket right here, and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say some random stuff. So you should subscribe to Glow Stick and like this video and then let's say i want to close the ticket i closed it and discord crashed on me all right even though discord did crash on me i gotta let that ruin our spirits here because if we go here you'll see i have a dm and this is what i've been testing but it says ticket closed successfully and then it tells us our exact thing you can even check it says you should and i spelled should wrong subscribe to glow stick and like his videos i don't know why discord crashed but hey, it still works. And over here, you can see that our ticket is gone. Right here. So what I can do, and people are already starting to pay me because I'm in recording. I can create a, let's say I create a new one just to show you this time. This one, subscribe, or right, and I click close ticket. Same thing here. I get one from Joan and it says subscribe, right? Anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed, and until next time, close to go. See ya!